It is worth pointing out what kind of views to expect from launch today. As always, we'll be bringing you the live views you see on your screen from various cameras at the pad and at range control. However, for this mission, we won't have the typical onboard vehicle cameras you might be familiar with for electron launches, and that is because this mission has extensive telemetry requirements. So to reduce the load on systems and operators, we've streamlined the mission down to essential systems only. Now, while we won't have those live vehicle feeds... T-minus 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, lift up. Which one proportion is nominal? Thank you, Chief Ronwan. At T plus one minute, and an electron is in the air and onward to the moon for the capstone mission. Yeah, and I can confirm from mission control that we have had max Q confirmed. So that was a successful pass through that milestone. And electron is onward. To we the are coming up soon on three events in the launch timeline that will occur in very short succession. So, and we have had Miko confirmed, uh, and will be coming up soon on the fairing separation for the mission. So just to confirm from Mission Control Comms, we have had MECO uh, and second stage separation, and it's carrying on now. Yeah. As you can so again, that fairing will separate shortly in preparation for the final stage separation between the second stage and yeah, photon. Separation. So there we go. We heard it on comms. We have had fairing separation on that second stage. And so there's confirmation that mission is continuing as it should with Capstone and the Photon Lunar Upper Stage now exposed to space and no longer needing that protection through uh, Earth's atmosphere. Now, it's Seeker confirmed. So with the Rutherford engine cooling down, that tells us that second engine cutoff was successful on Electron's second stage. And the Photon Lunar Upper Stage has now departed into its low Earth orbit with the Moon-bound Capstone spacecraft on board. Now, as a reminder from here, Photon is in charge of the mission. With its relightable Hypercurie engine, Photon will begin manoeuvring into a parking orbit. Then on the final phasing pass, Photon will ignite Hypercurie for a precision translunar injection burn, accelerating the upper stage and capstone to a top speed of nearly 11 kilometers per second, fast enough to break free of low Earth orbit on its way to the moon.